Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Quick View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View Learner, and in this video, I will talk about a very important Click View feature, which is Set Analysis or Set Expression. So, this Set Analysis or Set Expression is used to control the behavior of any metric or chart we produce. So, for example, uh, you can see here I am producing a metric from this data. So this metric is basically showing the status the status of orders and their total order value so how many total orders we have under closed what are the new total orders and shipped total orders right so so this metric currently is a free metric that means it will respond to any of the selection we will make from our filters like if i want to select any employee or any company it will going to generate the results which is a desired or uh, you know normal behavior from any of the click view metric or chart but say for example uh, in your uh, scenario business scenario the requirement is that apart from showing this metric which is showing the overall result it should all it should have only a specific customer name say for example it should only show company A because that is important to you. So apart from showing all the results, you should also have a metric which is specific to com company A. Then in that case, your set analysis or set expression will come into picture. So we will definitely look at how we can achieve that uh, customized behavior. But before that, let's quickly see how you will going to actually write any set expression so here in this text object i have shown you generally how you normally write any expression the sum of order total or count of order total or anything you know generally you write but whenever you need to introduce set expression it will be introduced before the measure and within the curly brackets so this is normally a this is a just uh, English uh, you know word set expression, but this will actually materialize when you write the dimension and the respective value. So give me the sum where status is equals to new, and I want a to sum of order total. So give me the sum of order total where status is equal to new. That's how you will going to interpret. And if you look at the syntax so sum you open the bracket for the sum and then curly brackets and then this smaller than sign within that status is equals to again curly bracket to represent the value and if it is a text then it will be represented within the single quotation as you can see the quotation opening quotation and closing quotation closing the curly brackets and then the sign uh, greater than sign and curly brackets closed so so this is how you will represent whenever you have any text if you have any number value you will not uh, use the quotation so that will not be surrounded by quotation so for example if you want a total or any value by order id then you will just represent the order id no quotation is required and uh, if you want to search anything then double quotation is required so so we'll see how you will going to do that and uh, we'll see about the scenario also. So for now, uh, we will going to replicate the same uh, structure over here in this metric. So this metric is a total order value showing the total order value by their respective status. Now what we want is this metric should be first cloned. So we have cloned it. Now I have a normal metric which is here a clone is here for that and in this metric I want it is only specific to a company A or any of the company according to your uh, you know business requirement but this is just for an example I'm picking so I will right click on this metric properties I will go into the expression I will expand expression and I will say I will open the curly brackets and then the sign smaller than greater than and within that I will first write the dimension so dimension is customer name 
it's equals to within the bracket because I will have a text I am op opening and closing quotation and then the name company A alright so now what we are show saying here give me the sum of order total for the company A and I will click OK apply and OK so now you can see this metric is completely changed it is only showing me the status new and the respective value however this value this metric where I don't have the set expression it is not you know customized and showing me all the results uh, related to this data and the next thing we will be observing is that this metric will not change its behavior based on our selection of this dimension because we have fixed or customized this metric for company A so if I select any company you see that result is not changed but result is changed here the value is changed here here also it has changed according to general click view rules so if I select any other value you know everything will reflect because no restriction we have no we have not put any restriction over there but since the restriction is only on this table that's why you know there is no change so if I select company A the to, to, to the status is only new and the total order value is 2410 so we clearly see when we audit it that okay the status is new so this is good and the total order value is 1674.75 plus 736 which will eventually result into 2410.75 right so this is how you know you can see how flexible the click view is in doing such analysis where you know your business really want any customization you can say yes I can produce it very quickly by you know using the set expressions now uh, let's uh, let's extend our uh, set expression so if I uh, so currently we have this metric customized by a company A but if I look at the shipping fee or say for example order ID is 44 and 71 so this is not a very good example so let me just quickly see here and see my data say for example uh, what we now want to introduce is we want to know all those orders value where shipping fee is 200 because that seems to be very high and we want to know what is that shipping uh, so shipping fee where amount is 200 we want to know those orders by their status so for that so idea here is how we will going to write the numeric value so we have already seen text value now let's quickly remove what we have wrote earlier and within that now we will write shipping fee is equals to 200 and now you can see uh, I'm not using any single quotation right so everything is good no problem expression is okay I will click OK and you can see the status is closed for uh, wherever the value is 200 and the total order value is 4883 right and now if you see uh, if I select the the 200 value to audit it is basically you can argue say hey it is showing the status equals to new also why you are not showing it here why it is not showing and now the answer is because the status is new for where the shipping fees is 200 but the order total is zero right so that's why it is not showing however if you really want to show we need to customize or tweak it little within the presentation tab so right click properties within the presentation we have this checked suppress zero value a very important property because sometimes your user really wants to see that 
what are the zero values figures right so I will uncheck this click OK and now your new category is coming so this is just a quick tip on trick I just wanted to tell you uh, how you will going to show if it is not coming to you and uh, your user is really wants to see that this is how you can do it all right now uh, you can arguably say uh, if I first clear this you can arguably say that uh, see you we already know sometimes what is our maximum value but what if if I want to set some threshold say for example give me all those order values where the shipping fee is greater than or equal to 100 right so sometimes we just are not aware about what is our uh, exact condition would look like you know because shipping fee may sometimes 200 210 150 180 never you never know that situation so how we usually generalize this is saying give me the result fair shipping fee is greater than equal to 100 or greater than equals to 150 or greater than equals to 200 based on how you define or how your business is defining that situation now how we will going to achieve it in this scenario by looking at this uh, situation uh, in this adjustment into the expression so before that let me uh, quickly decide the condition so we want to show give me all that shipping fee which is less than and equals to 100 that condition may also come right so right click properties expression and within the expression we will do a quick adjustment so instead of saying equals to 200 now our condition is give me all those uh, order where shipping fee is less than and equals to 100 so what I will going to write is double quotation opening and closing within that I will say less than equals to 100 so this is what uh, is basically a searching of values so whenever you have such condition this is how you should write so less than equals to 100 within the double quotation you call it a search string click OK and apply and OK so now we are having a metric by order status and the respective order value wherever the shipping fees is less than equals to 100 so less than equals to 100 means all those shipping fees where shipping fees equals to 0 10 40 7 4 5 12 5 right 50 100 60 all of these shipping fee will actually are going to reflect over here so I have uh, in this video showed you how you will going to you know write the condition for a text for a numeric value and now just now I showed you how you will search the value by putting a threshold so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this introduction video uh, in the coming video I will be touching more advanced features of uh, set expression I hope uh, you are finding this video useful and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.